Welcome to Prism Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 50 of ASP.NET Grid View tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss about implementing paging in a grid view control that uses SQL Data Source Control. We'll be using Table TBL employee for this demo. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Let's drag and drop a grid view control. Let's auto format this. Let's choose Brown Sugar Scheme. Now let me drag and drop a label control. I need the label control to display a message at the bottom of the grid view control. Look at this. I have this message stating displaying page 1 of 2. At the moment within the grid view control I am looking at page 1 and that's what the message is stating here. So to display this message I need a label control. So let's drag and drop a label control. And then we want to use SQL Data Source Control with this demo. So let me drag and drop that as well. And let's configure SQL Data Source Control. Let's select the connection string. Click Next. Select your table. Click Next. Test your query. Finish. Now let's associate the SQL Data Source Control with the Grid View Control. And look at this. The moment I do it, I get this option Enable Paging. And once I select this checkbox, behind the scenes, you know, this attribute is auto-generated. Allow Paging. And that's set to True. Okay, and also look at the grid view control as soon as we have enabled paging. I get these page numbers and by default there are 10 rows per page. Now in my table if you look at this it has got only 6 rows. Now I want to set the page size of this grid view control to 3 rows. Is it possible? Absolutely. And to do that get to the properties of the grid view control and there is a property called page size and by default it is 10. Now if I want to display just 3 rows just uh, set it to 3. And the next thing that I want to do is I want to display this message within the label control displaying page 1 of 2. So obviously to display this message I need two pieces of information. First, you know, what is the page that the user is currently looking at? And number two, how many total pages do I have within the grid view control? So to get the page that the user is currently looking at I can make use of the grid view control property called page index. And to get the total number of pages, I can make use of page count property. All right. Now let's flip to Visual Studio. Within the code behind file, I am saying uh, label one dot text is equal to displaying page. So that's the hard coded uh, text displaying page one or two or whatever is the page that the user is currently looking at. So how do I get that page? I can make use of a property of the grid view control called page index. Okay, and keep in mind this page index is zero index based, meaning it starts with zero. So obviously if I'm looking at page one, the page index will be zero. If I'm looking at page two, it will be one. Okay, so I need to increment that by one. So after I do that, since this is an integer, I need to convert that to a string because we are concatenating this to a string. And then I need, you know, this hard-coded word of and then the total pages. So how do I get the total pages uh, that are, are present within the grid view control? I can use a property called page count. And again, we need to convert that to string. That's it. All right, with these two changes, let me go ahead and run this now. When the web form renders, we should be, you know, on page one as, you know, look at that. It says page one of zero. Okay, why is it not, you know, showing me the correct page number? Let me actually click on this page two. Look at that. It says page one of two while I am on actually page two. And when I click page one, it's saying displaying page two of two. So it's not quite working as I expected. That's because look at where we have written the code. We have written the code in the page load event. Okay. So in the page load event, you know, we don't have these properties of the grid view control initialized. They happen, you know, at a later point of time. So the right place for this code to go is into the grid views pre-render event. So let's go ahead and generate the pre-render event handler for the grid view control. So get to the properties of the grid view by pressing F4 click on this events icon and then we have this pre-render event so double click on that to generate the event handler let me move this code from page load to pre-render event let me run this right now and as you might expect it should work correctly so at the moment it is displaying page one of two if I click on this page two look at that displaying page two of two okay 
So obviously, you know, when I enable paging, we get this option, allow paging is set to true. And then to control the number of rows uh, that you want to display per page, you can make use of page size property. So to control the number of rows displayed per page, use page size property. When paging is enabled, allow paging attribute is set to true. Page index property of the grid view control can be used to retrieve the page that is currently being viewed. Page index is zero based, so add one to it if you want to compute the correct page number that the user is looking at. And to get the total number of pages available within the grid view control, use page count property of the grid view control. Now, an important thing to keep in mind is when SQL data source control is used, we get default paging. This means that though we are only displaying three rows per page, you know, um, all the rows from the database table will be retrieved every time when you click on page one or page two. And to illustrate this, uh, you know, you can actually open a SQL profiler. So go to Tools and then click on SQL Profiler. That should bring up SQL Profiler window here. And then I want to connect to my local server. So let me click Connect. And then within the Event Selection, I'm going to uncheck everything and just leave the SQL batch completed. OK, click Run. And then look at this. As I click on the page numbers, so I clicked on page number one once. And look at the query, select star from TBL employee. So it's going to retrieve all the rows from TPL employee table, okay? But then the grid view control will only display three at a time, okay? I click on page two and look at what happens. There is another query, select star from TPL employee. So every time you page through this grid view control, you know, we retrieve all the rows, okay? Let's say, for example, if there are 2,000 rows in that table and if we are only showing 10 records, and I am on page one, you know, I retrieve all the 2000 records from database and then only display 10 within the grid view control. Now this is bad for performance. So obviously with SQL data source control, we get default paging. But then grid view control also supports something called custom paging, where we only retrieve the required number of rows and not all rows. Okay, we'll talk about this in a later video session. All right. On this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET, C-Sharp, and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.